Well, hey guys and gals. Just finished up this guitar. It uh, had a crack in the uh, bottom side right in here. Uh, it's visible. I didn't, uh, I didn't drop fill it. Uh, I glued it and I put uh, cleats inside. If you'd, uh, if you'd like to see that process, uh, stick around. We'll, uh, we're going to go right into that. We've moved on to the second um, cleat. I uh, already put that in. I didn't. Uh, I didn't get that on the on the camera. And so first cleat's in. Second cleat's in. We. Um. Yeah. Pinchy fingers. So, I'm gonna look inside and see how we lined up. First one looked pretty good. The uh, crack was going kind of down, kind of sideways down, so I'll have to see uh, how we did on that. And uh, um, hopefully it will be not too crazy looking. I don't think, you know, you gotta make it work. So I just, I like things to look decent on the inside. Wow. Those uh, those cleats ended up right next to each other. I think. Oh shoot! I'm gonna see if I can get the other end of that crack is underneath the popsicle stick, but I wonder how it looks like a long ways away. I wonder how far that really is. About an inch, maybe. Yeah, these things ended up right touching each other. I'll take a picture. After. Uh, but yeah, the second one dropped down farther on the crack, which I like better. I need to get a rag, get some, um, get a, go inside the house and get some hot water so it's warm, and then uh, try to wipe off some of the glue that's just around the, the cleat. Um, clean it up a little bit and I uh, nothing you're going to be able to see but I'm going to take a five thousandths feeler gauge and see if it's if this uh, stick is is actually glued in or if that feeler gauge will go under the stick in which case definitely going to try to re-glue it I'll talk you through it. My hand's on the guitar. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Nope, not from where you are. Come around here, see if you can get a better look. Um, well, what's going on? I can't, I can't feel it. Oh, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong side of the stinking stick. No wonder I'm not getting anywhere. All right, so, I wish you'd have told me. Um, There we go. Now I'm right up against it. On the appropriate side, you know, it It feels very, very, very attached. So uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to get it, like I said, I'm going to get a warm rag and I'm going to clean those up. I'm going to take a picture of that and I'll put it in the video. And uh, right about here where I'm going to insert that picture, I'll explain that. Uh, you can get a device. Let's see here. Why don't you just have a look at me? Have a look at my wonderful countenance here. Now, now my camera doesn't want to go back far. You don't want to miss any of this golden noggin. Um, so, Stumac makes a, a product that is called a bridge saver, and uh, basically for acoustic guitar bridges, uh, when the inside plate uh, gets all chewed up from the ball ends. You can go in with this thing. It goes through the top of the guitar. You connect, a, or I don't know, maybe it's all one piece and you push it in from underneath, but you spin it and it cuts a bevel into the bottom of the bridge plate. The also makes, uh, out of a separate piece of material, makes a plug that is about the perfect size for a cleat. 
and uh, they're round. And so you can't really, I mean, visually, you can't make it look bad inside your guitar with this round cleat. Problem is, just like everything else with Steam Mac, they're pricey. Um, I haven't figured out uh, a way to do it yet without, <coughs> without, I suppose you could just do some plugs, cut some plugs with a regular plug cutter and then shave them uh, a certain depth and make, well, there, solve that problem. Um, yeah, so there's a couple ways to make round plugs. You can buy the Steam Mac tool or you can uh, just set up a block of wood with a plug cutter, cut a bunch of plugs and then stick it in your bandsaw and saw it off at, you know, one sixteenth thick or whatever and your, you've got your plugs or your, your pleats. All right, going to go get warm water, come back and see if I can clean this up. Should be able to, uh, being fish glue and all, and we'll, we'll get this thing uh, finished up. All right, so the inside is cleaned up. Everything's looking good. I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, get a little stain pen on here. These uh, rejuvenate exact match furniture stain markers actually work really well for many different guitar colors. So we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna pick what we think we're looking for. This one's called I think that's the one. Do they actually have the numbers on? Nope. Yeah, they do. Mahogany. Um, it's a little brown looking. Uh, the one that says walnut is actually... Uh, what's that one say? Cherry. The one that says cherry is actually a little redder. Maybe too red though. Let's go with the mahogany. So, I don't know that you can see it really. But uh, see if we can get in here closer, maybe a little bit better. You've got kind of just a, a obviously a white unstained line there where probably the edge of the finish broke loose when it cracked. Uh, and then there's a scuff mark right below it. So I'm going to start with the crack. And so worst case scenario is we end up with a little darker line. That's not going to be nearly as obvious as a... Uh, a light line and then the other thing is that it's actually pretty red on here redder than the uh, redder than the cap looks for sure all right now piece of paper towel and just wipe off the excess here easier said than done I'm gonna put a little um, alcohol in that. I didn't realize it was going to do that. I don't remember these drying out quite that fast. Famous last words. So that should just have stained the wood. And it did. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, polish over all this. So I'm going to put a little more in there. I guess it penetrated right here. So, disregard the scuff, and you can no longer see the crack. You can see the physical crack, but you uh, you don't see any color difference there. Let's try the scuff. I got a feeling that might just rub out with the uh, with the denatured alcohol on it, but we can't leave it looking like. Um, well, looks good. It really took any kind of wax there was on here off of it, though. All right. Try not to quite so hard leave a little color in there. That dry. I'm gonna put some spit on it, just to dampen it. See what it looks like with uh, 
a little wax over it. Looks good. So um, the other thing I'm going to do is grab some of the the Minwax uh, repair pens, repair uh, crayons. Okay, I didn't find the pencil I was looking for. So we're going to use blend. It's called blend fill number eight. It's probably called mahogany. It just looks a little dark. Um, let's see what we get here. So I'm filling this little bit of a gap. It's on this uh, on this crack. And so I'm rubbing across the grain so it kind of goes down into the grain. And uh, on up into this area. I actually think that's going to be okay. It probably will, though, just because it's one solid color. Draw the eye. Um, isn't, uh, isn't ideal. There again, I have this. You got a little bit's almost dried out of this uh, denatured alcohol on here. I wanted to put the stain in first because you got to get some more alcohol. I want to put the stain in first because this is wax, and once you have that smeared all over there, the stain's not gonna not gonna do anything. I work in a hardware store. Lately, I was a contractor, a building contractor, and uh, I'm surprised how many people come into the store that are trying to refinish their floors and different things, and they have no idea that you can't stain through your thing. And this is this would be a similar thing, really. You just have um, you have wax on here. The color is not going to go through it. So you want to do anytime you want to do something like that, you start with stain on the raw wood. Uh, even if you put a natural, like just a clear oil, uh, and then try to stain over that, you're going to have some, some problems. Now, I'm going to keep rubbing on this. This is not uh, just coming off here as easily as I thought it might. Hmm. Definitely fill that line, though, with... Uh, I'm not done getting the residue off of there yet, but you can see that. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you can't really see the, uh, hello. You can't see the straight line where the crack was. Let me, um, I'm going to do this with, uh, naphtha, which I think will cut that wax better than the denatured alcohol. Or whatever this bar is made of. Naphtha. I have my little, all my cans full of all my nasty chemicals that I'm not supposed to own in California. But I can still buy lacquer thinner and tile and tile all and all. Not tile and all, not the pain meds, but the solvent. Yeah, that definitely, tooling, um, definitely took that stuff right off. Well, I'm not I'm not that happy with the color, but I think my my customer will be just fine. Um, of course, that's not usually my only goal. I have to please me. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if you can see any of that in the camera. I have to get to where I can see in the monitor myself. Where are we at? Well, now you can kind of see that line there. No, oh, always go the wrong way. Yeah, so you can see a little bit of a line. Where are we? Right in there. Uh, not uh, not bad actually in real life. The uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna look around. I think I have a better a better color than that. You know. I don't know why. Let this be a lesson to you, boys and girls. Put your stuff away when you're done using it so that you don't have to go searching for it every time you need something. 
I actually had done that with all of these, or at least the most time. I am uh, I am putting a little black uh, sporadically across that line, not uh, not solid, and. Hopefully it might look like a little bit of grain because all this other back, you know, grain fill was in black. That looks better, I will admit. And uh, once I get some polish on that, I think we're going to be in good shape. How are we doing? Oh, there you go. Um, it's hard to see now, isn't it? There we go. All right. Um, so I'm going to actually, I looked around inside with the mirror. I didn't notice anything loose, but I'm going to stick my arm in there with a the feeler gauge and, uh, see if I can find any loose braces or anything. I didn't hear anything when I was banging on it the other day. So I think we're probably pretty good with that. Uh, I'm going to call that done as far as this video goes. Uh, I think we've accomplished what we were what we had set out to do so thanks for watching folks uh, take care